Hello, my name is Zach Gibbs, and I'm a content developer within education services inside Juniper Networks. And today we will be going through the Configuring Lag Interfaces Security Director Learning Byte. All right, so here is our example that we see here on the slide. And in the topology, we have two devices. We have VSREX1 and VSREX2. And there are four interfaces, Gigi005 through Gigi008, that are connected together between VSRX1 and VSRX2. And so what we want to do here is we want to combine those four interfaces into a lag interface. And that lag interface is going to be AE0. And you can see the subnet that we'll be using for that AE0 interface. And we will also want to use LACP to monitor the lag interface members. And to the point of this learning byte, we will be using Security Director to configure this. And then after we get this all set up and working, we want to examine the LACP status and statistics. Then we want to examine the AE0 interface status. And then we want to do some communication across the AE0 interface. And we're just going to send a ping across that interface to make sure things are working. So with that, let's go ahead and jump to Security Director and get this started. All right, so here is Security Director, and we're currently in configuration mode. And you might think, well, let's configure this lag interface in configuration mode. And I wouldn't fault you for thinking that, but that's not the place where we need to configure it. Keep in mind that Security Director configuration mode is primarily used for security-related configuration tasks. And configuring a lag interface, although you might use it in a security zone or something else, it's not necessarily a security-related task. So to do this, we need to go to the Devices workspace. And then we need to right click on a device, go to Configuration, and Modify Configuration. So here we need to go to Link Aggregation. You might think Physical Interfaces, but we don't want to do that. The configuration is actually under Link Aggregation. That's where we will configure a lag interface. And you might see up here it says Set Device Count in Global Settings for creating an AE interface. And that's telling us we need to set the how many aggregated Ethernet interfaces we want to configure. Recall that in the CLI, you configure the amount of aggregate Ethernet interfaces. And this creates the actual AE interface, such as AE0, AE1, or however many you configure in the device. So let's select Global Settings. And we just need one, so let's just put one here. Click OK. And we can see the device count was added successfully. Now let's click the Create button and we'll create a new AE interface. We're going to name this A0. And then we need to add the Gigi 5, 6, 7, and 8. And those are the member interfaces. And then if we scroll down, LACP is already configured as active. Now we can set this to passive or active. And one side just needs to be active, or both sides need to be active if we're going to be using LACP. And we can configure the periodic rate of fast or slow, just leave that default of none. And we can configure system priority, link protection we can enable, as well as VLAN tagging. And we don't need to change any of that. So let's go ahead and click OK and jump to the next step. OK, we can see that interface has been created successfully. So let's go ahead and select this interface. And then we can click the Add Logical Interface option. And here we don't need to configure a VLAN ID or IPv6. We just need to configure IPv4. Let's click the Create button. And then let's add the IP address. Go to Subnet Mask and then click the Check mark. And then click OK. And then click Save and Deploy. And we'll select the Run Now option by default and click OK. And we can see that job completed successfully. Let's click OK. And then we need to repeat the steps on VSRX2. So configuration, modify configuration, then select link aggregation, and then global settings. And we'll set the device count to one. And then let's add an aggregate ethernet interface. We'll call this AE0 as well. And then we need to add our interfaces, five, six, seven, and eight. Those are our member interfaces. And LACP is set to active by default, that's fine. So let's go ahead and click OK. We see the AE0 interface was created successfully. Let's select AE0 and then select Add Logical Interface. And then we need to configure the IPv4 address. It's going to be 10.1.5.2. 
give it a subnet mask of 24, then click OK, and then click Save and Deploy. We can see the job finished successfully. And I did forget to configure one thing on these two devices. Remember that these are security devices. So we need to place those AE0 interfaces in security zones. Okay, so this is VSRX2. Let's go to zones and let's create a new zone. Call this lag. So the security zone is called lag and then move the AE0 interface over. And then under system services, we'll use the any service and click OK. Then let's save and deploy those changes. And the job completed successfully. Now let's do the same on VSRX1. Let's go to zones and then create. And we'll call this lag as well. Let's move AE0 over and then select any service or the system services and click OK. And let's save and deploy that. And that deployed successfully. So let's click OK. Now, unfortunately, there isn't a way to look at the interface status and the LACP status within Security Director. So we need to hop to the CLI to look at that information. So let's go ahead and jump to the CLI of VSRX1 and check that out. All right, here is VSRX1. And we can see here we have Gigi 5 through 8 that is a part of AE0. And then we have AE0 that is up and it has the IP address that we assigned to it. So let's look at the status of LACP. And we can see that LACP is up on all the member interfaces. And we can see the role as well as the activity. And the timeout is set to fast as well. And this is a good sign. LACP is up and functioning and the interface is up and functioning. Now for the last test, we want to ensure that there's communication. So let's go ahead and ping the other side. And we have communication. This is great. So that brings us to the end of this learning byte. In this learning byte, we demonstrated how to configure lag interfaces using Security Director. So as always, thanks for watching. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks Certification Program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community, from forums to social media, join the discussion.